here at the console of the NOAC organ, uh, once again, the, kind of the pilot's uh, cockpit uh, of controls, at the, it's very, very exciting. Um, we have four different divisions in this organ. Um, each of these three keyboards and the pedal board all control a section of this organ, which we'll be able to see when we go upstairs. Um, this top manual is called the swell, and it controls the stops and sounds from these two banks. And we get diapason, a flute, strings, all the way up to a battery of reeds. little out of tune. And one reason this is called the swell is because all of the pipes that are playable on this keyboard are enclosed by a box, which um, are controlled by a pedal um, by my right or left foot, and it controls uh, what are essentially Venetian blinds that allow the sound to crescendo or decrescendo. For example, we can have a really loud sound, a lot of stops on, yet it be soft-ish. And we can take some of the softer sounds and go even quieter. The great manual is uh, the, the main manual in German organs, often called the Hauptwerk, um, the, the head um, section. And then we have the choir, or it can be called the positive, which sits below the grade um, here at, at the front of the case. The swell is positioned behind, and the pedal division to either side, as we'll get to see uh, inside. So before we go inside, I want to take a look at how you get from here to up there. Um, as I mentioned, this organ is mechanical action, meaning there's a direct linkage between every key and a corresponding what's called tone channel in the wind chest upstairs. Um, and to demonstrate that, we're actually going to go next door to the posi organ in the chapel, um, which uh, you can actually take off the front of the organ and uh, get to see those workings firsthand. I'll see you in a second. Here we are at the Posse organ in the chapel here at Epiphany. And this organ, like the NOAC next door, is mechanical action. And this, more so, is entirely mechanical action. Uh, with the exception of the electric blower uh, in the basement below. Here, I would like to give you a close-up view of what the trackers look like as they connect to the keys here and go up uh, into the organ. So give me a moment and I'll, I'll take the, the front of the case off and have a look inside. All right, here we go. As you can see, this lies right behind the music desk and uh, these front arms and trackers connect to the grate, the lowest keyboard. And then there's a secondary set inside um, that you can't see that uh, controls the second keyboard or the swell. And uh, down here, uh, they aren't in the frame, but we have couplers, uh, just like next door, that allow both keyboards to be played together. You can see the uh, arms and trackers moving inside. <laughs> 